it's always inappropriate to submit a paper that's already been published at a, another journal, any journal, uh, to an academy journal. Taking a paper that you've submitted to, or published somewhere else and submitted it to the academy journal is always totally unacceptable. It doesn't matter where it was. It doesn't matter how low level the journal was. Uh, in fact, in most cases, you wind up signing over copyright, uh, the copyright for the paper, so you don't really even own the paper anymore. So not only is it unethical, it's probably illegal. If, if you have published your work uh, in anywhere, you, you cannot publish it again in an academy, in an academy journal. It's always inappropriate to, to submit the same paper to two different journals. And one of the things that you need to think about is the uh, reviewer's time. Pe you're asking people to spend quite a bit of their time uh, for which they are not compensated in any way. They're just doing it out of the goodness of their hearts. And uh, you certainly don't want to tax that process. So this is not even something you can get away with. Aside from being unethical, you usually get caught. You can, but you have to do it sequentially, not simultaneously. If, if you submit it to a, a journal and it is ultimately rejected, you can take the feedback, improve the paper, and then send it to another journal. But you cannot take the same paper and send it to two journals at the same time, hoping that one will, will accept it. Absolutely, it's fine, as long as you ask the editor first. So what the, the proper procedure is to inform the editor that this paper was rejected by the former editor. You believe that you have either new data or some other information that uh, you can present to deal with these issues, and is it okay for me to submit the paper again? If the editor says it's okay, then it's fine. You need to be very transparent, upfront, talk to the editor, uh, explain that, in fact, I would send the editor the, the previous paper uh, and say, this is the paper that was rejected, and here is uh, the new paper. Here's how we've changed it. We went back and, and made major alterations. We, whatever we did, we have new data, whatever, and ask whether uh, it's OK. And if, it, if the editor says it's OK, it's OK. If you find an error in your data or in your analysis after you've submitted your paper, you definitely should correct it. If you have not received your reviews or your editorial decision, you should proactively contact the editor so that they can get that information out to the reviewers. If it's during a revise and resubmit when you're doing a new analysis, you should absolutely do so. Um, once a paper has been published, you can submit a, a retraction or a correction, and that will be fixed in an electronic version. That lives on evermore. I have actually lived with that myself, so the answer is yes, you should correct it as soon as, as, soon as you find out. If you become aware of an error in your paper, you should uh, tell the editor or whoever else is relevant as soon as possible. Yeah, you, can, you can publish errata sheets uh, to do this. Also, there is uh, the lag time between the time that the paper is accepted and it's actually published is usually several months, so there's actually a lot of time to get in there and, and to do this. My advice would be not to be tempted to take any shortcuts. So don't short sight other people's work. Go back, read the original work before you take someone else's depiction of it that's been published um, as what the original author's intent was. Um, do not be tempted to copy off of someone else's methods discussion to get the words correct. Don't even rely on previous things that you've written um, in the the uh, creation of new articles and in new writing. In addition to understanding about the ethics, the notion of understanding your reputation. You, you violate these ethical principles, you do the wrong thing. Not only is it wrong, but it's going to hurt you because it's going to hurt your reputation in the field. That this whole initiative um, is, uh, comes at a, at a moment in, in history of the Academy of Management. And it's a moment that uh, places our members under some pressure. And, and we would be naive not to acknowledge that pressure. And, and the pressures these days are to publish in um, A-level journals with very high impact factors and all of that. 
Uh, well, I'm well aware that in, around the world there are incentives, uh, strong incentives, to publish in these, these kinds of journals. Um, and there's, uh, when so much is at stake, people will, will press the limits of what, what might be um, uh, at a minimum appropriate and, and, uh, and, and at some other standard of what, what is sacred in, in our work. Um, I would just remind ourselves that uh, what we do is sacred and that there's a sacred trust we have with our students, there's a sacred trust we have with society, with the people that pay our salaries, um, and that this isn't a game and that we are uh, trying to do work that, to quote the, um, the vision for the Academy of Management, inspires and enables a better world um, through that work.